All right, everybody, we're back, and we're going to be playing... I guess we're just going to make this the new Wednesday game. So, if, unless we somehow finish it tonight, because there's only, like, four uh, achievements. But, this is game is called... Spark the Electric Jester. So, this was actually made by a person who made a bunch of Sonic fan games, which is pretty cool. And I just love this music so far. This is really cool. Yeah. Alright. So we got here. Main game. Spark. Oh, what is this? Spark the story. Mm. Go on a quest to get your job back. Are there a bunch of other playable characters? Hey. Hey. Hello? Hmm? My friends call me Spark. Well, at least they did back when I had a job. It all started a couple of years back. I just got done with my electrical engineering degree. It was pretty happy about I was pretty happy about it. <laughs> and it was at my university that I made my jester hat and a, as a little side project. It makes me able to hold electricity with my fingers. It's awesome. But it was kind of a it was kind of a wonky at the time. Sadly, a degree doesn't mean you can get employed. I guess all electrical engineering jobs are handled by computers now. Regardless, I did score a little I did score a little electrician gig. All I did was manage some low quality bots though. It wasn't very fun. It was enough for me, however. I spent a little free time ahead improving my jester hat. I was there for a whole year, but sadly shortly after it I got fired. I got replaced by new robot. But I told myself I wouldn't have any of it. So I took my gesture hat and became a street artist. <laughs> I didn't make a single penny. Well, oh. things were looking up though. I was found by a circus owner. He told me that I could become a performer. So I did. People wanted real plot performers, I was told. Only a month in, I was replaced by another robot. Of course. Turns out, I was merely a test. The robot is faster, can make riskier maneuvers, is less liable for lawsuit. <laughs> I was told before I immediately rushed off to that darn place. Didn't even get my first paycheck. In this world, as long as you own robots, you're fine. My parents said it was better back in the day, too. They were probably right. Now, here I am, unable to pay rent. Oh. What is this? I think those robots are missing some screws. And they are attacking people? Well, that's not good. Not at all. Hmm. Hello, and hello there. Hello. How's it going? Welcome, username. Anyway. I'll see what I can do about this. Hello there. This is the part where I ask you if you want to see the tutorial. But before I do that... Don't go thinking you already know how to control me. I got a few tricks that are worth learning. So. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Alright, here we go. First, the basics. Ooh, I like his... There we go. This is a good movement. So this is like the Sonic Mania type game I was looking for. Because he's got moves. This feels like Sonic Advanced. Hold. Damn! Well then. Ooh. Cool. Keep in mind you can fire your charge shot in four directions. Up, down, left, right. Now we're going to do something a little bit more complicated. Hit the dummy with normal attacks. A blue bar will fill up. That's your static bar. You build it up by attacking. Once the bar is full, use a charge shot. Ooh! Seemed kind of lagging, but a little. I don't know if it's on my end or yours. It was. Yeah. A, it just happened a bit on my end, I think, too. 
Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm watching it on my phone so I can see the chat and everything like that. I saw it when the charge shot was there. Wall jumping can be a bit tricky at first, but there's a trick. Just keep pressing jump while near a wall and it'll do the rest. Basically, don't move while wall jumping. Just press jump. So I'm going to take a look as I... Maybe my computer can't handle the blast processing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for now. But there's a lot more I can do. See it, press the start or enter. Not here, though it will skip to this cutscene. Actually, I did disable it for this cutscene just in case. See you on the field. Good luck. It seems only... That's weird. Alright. FM City. Ooh, I like this a lot. Let's see, is it lagging? No, not really. Let me try the charge attack, maybe. Oh, I think it's fixed now. Alright, cool. Yeah. By the way, did you know this game has a sequel and a third sequel in the works? Oh. And the coolest thing, the sequel's in 3D. This is... I really liked... It. Wow! This is, this is like Freedom Planet. Except you're an electric jest. Wait, do I have a light pole? What, what's going to happen now? Oh. Oh shit! What the frick? Oh, I think the game actually, like, it lags to emphasize like how powerful the attack is, I think. Audio desync, really? Doesn't look like it on my end. That's weird. The second spark is a very good can't wait for spark three. Ooh. I know, I saw the trailer, it looks really good. Yeah. Get me up there. Cause I'm a huge fan of Sonic Adventure, so that's what it kinda that's what the sequel kinda looked like, so I'm just like, ooh, I'm excited. And then Spark 3 looks even more so, and I'm just like, is this a power-up? Also, sorry if I'm, like, not doing too great with this. Um, I'm not that great at 2D Sonic. I'm a little better at 3D Sonic. And even then, I still kind of suck. Woo! I like this! Oh, that is cool! So, Marv, will you be playing Spark 2 after this? Totally, I just gotta buy it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry if I don't... I'm just ena I'm enamored by the game. This is a really cool experience. This is this is why I, this is sometimes the reason why I don't want to play games blind. Why I kind of want to like do them, you know, so that I can pay attention to chat and not be like, ooh, the game's so cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, what I know what what's mean. this? Oh, <laughs> yeah! Oh, this shit's awesome! Oh my god. This is great. I definitely gotta get Spark. You know what? This is this has already made a good impression. I gotta get Spark 2 now. If it's half as good as this. Oh. Or better. Considering it's 3D. Look, I love it when an indie game does something like a 3D. Mm -hmm. Like, that's when you know they're like really trying their hardest. And I'm just like, ooh, that is so cool. I assume we're at a boss fight. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm also getting from this as well? What? There's some like fucking uh, Rystar uh, vibes from this shit too. I actually never played Rystar, is it any good? It's... How do I describe it? Ooh! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Rise Star, it's it's sort of like Rayman, but you're playing a star instead of you know whatever the hell Rayman is. Don't you like grab onto your enemies in Rise Star? Yes. Uh oh, what's going on Cause... here? Ouch. Cause oh, that's you. 
The faker who took my job. They never. They Ooh, even. Can I voice this look, guy? Sure, if he talks. They even made you okay. look like me. What a disgrace! Oh, he does. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? It's the jester himself. But you know, you're right. It is a disgrace that they made me look like you. Go home, Jester boy. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that is it! You get back here. Spark kind of reminds me of Marks from Kirby, not gonna lie. Hmm. Oh, yeah. FM Canyon. Wait. Are the levels gonna be na- wait. FM. Is that like- FM synthesis. Oh. Oh. I was thinking it was gonna be like radio waves or something. I can definitely see the speedrun potential in this. I'm not really- I'm not like a speedrunner myself, but this game is really cool. I feel- it's not exactly like Sonic, but it's just different enough. Like, if you've ever seen Freedom Planet- oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 do not, do not, do not fall, do not fall. Okay, cool. I wonder how many- I wonder how many levels this game has. This is... I'm excited to play more of this. I now can't wait to get Spark 2. <laughs> I wonder how- I wonder how it evolved between the sequels. Oh yeah, what did that say? No, no, damn it. Speedruns of Spark have been popping up the fuck. Oh. Find a new sh- uh, Damn! I'm more of a Spark 2 runner myself. Ah! Uh -huh. I take it- I take it that the Spark 2 is a little bit- when when it comes to speedruns, a little bit like, uh, 3D Sonic speedruns, I guess? Buy a pan. Help the planet's air circulation crisis. Oh, buy a, a fan. fan. Yeah. Huh. I don't like, like I said, I, I don't know, I don't know a lot of like the speed running stuff, but I, I occasionally watch some stuff from like maybe some of the, like classic, I guess, uh, GDQ stuff, such as like the uh, Symphony of the Night blindfolded. Oh, I can see that then. Yeah, that was crazy. All right, so. Keep dashing up the wall. SS boots, a hundred dollars! Holy shit! Really? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. I'll definitely take a look at that later. You know, I actually, I actually remember back in the day watching an old like Super Mario 2 uh, speedrun and shit. I'm trying to think of the one. You know, you want to know where I found the video? Where? On this website called Retro Junk. I that I hosted a lot of like uh, classic speedrun videos. What they do in that one? Oh my god, I can't really remember. I just remember it being like I was able to watch it on like fucking. I downloaded it and like I remember watching it on like the like one of the older like Windows and media player things. You know what I mean? <laughs> was this back when you were like the uh, angry gamer zig? No, this was pre. Uh, 
fucking AVGN ripoff. <laughs> I definitely say Spark One is a fantastic game, though I'm a fan of more. Yeah, that, yeah, definitely. When it comes to Sonic, especially. Mm -hmm. And I said, I think I said it, I said a little bit ago. Uh, the 3D, 3D indie games really make me go ooh. Like, um, Anodyne Two was one of those. Games. I was just going to say Anodyne Two. Yeah, that made me, that made me so happy when I saw that game. I'm like, a 3D indie game. This can't be real. Is that a, mm -hmm. is that a lance? What? Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, Freedom, Freedom Planet! Freedom Planet. Alright, it's a little bit more... I'd say like the levels are designed more like a Sonic game in terms of like how you're able to speed up and stuff like that. My best comparison right. would be something like Sonic Rush. Oh, what is this thing? Um, it's very, it's fun, but it can be, like, insane, though. I'm gonna focus on, like, uh, it's a lot of, uh, it's got a fun story, too. But, like, the villain, the villain is really evil in that one. Like, it's a bit- it's a little bit more of an epic that compared to this, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just noticed that, the frame drops. I wonder- I wonder what the heck is up. I don't know why. I wonder if the recording is gonna contain that. If it does, I'll have to- if it does, I'll like, relook at something. Okay. I guess I'll replay the, uh, whatchamacallit. I'll, I'll probably restream the, uh, beginning chapters. I'll, I'll look at this, uh, for next Wednesday. And, mm -hmm. um, I'll definitely restream this, because, um, it all depends on the recording and stuff like that, because I don't know why, it, like, sometimes live it does weird stuff. I don't know. Right. Yeah. And then when you look at the recording, it actually looks a little bit better and shit. Oh, this, this down attack is really cool. The fact that Spark has power-ups. Also, Freedom Planet has like three playable characters. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other playable characters. Spark. This is my first time playing this, so. Oh, that is cool. This level feels like a Kirby level. There's the ring. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I upload my uh, stream bots to YouTube. I have an archive. I also uh, usually. Oh god. Um, though I also use the same thing that I stream with to uh, record stuff for when I do occasionally make a uh, YouTube video. Unless I record off of my phone. <laughs> I mean, if you look at all the power-ups, you're basically different. Yeah, true. Like, every, yeah, every power. It's the charge one. Ooh. Straightforward lance dash. This is pretty cool. One of the, one of the characters in Freedom Planet, she's very utility versus like, you know, you gotta play her very smart. Oh God. Or else she'll like feel very weird. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, two of the characters are built for speed, but one is slightly... One is more power than speed. But then the third character is, like, utility. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely stream Freedom Planet one day. Don't know when, but... It, ooh, oh, 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 oh. Is, safe is that a spark robot? Really? Night Jester, Night Jester. Night Oh, this is just like Kirby! Night Dash, hold and release the attack button. Up and down slashes. Press up or down and the attack button. Do attack. 
Uh, it can only be made of the air. Night shield. Fill up the static bar and you will get a shield. Ooh. The game just crashed. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? The game just crashed. I unpaused it. What just happened? <laughs> um... I guess it's- I guess it has an issue recording the game, maybe, because, uh, or, like, live it, or, like, because I'm not getting any issues. Oh, you was known for being a fit. Oh, uh. oh, I see. Okay. That's fine. You know, nothing too bad. Network Coast. Oh shit. Oh, I like that. Every save point is a check. Every checkpoint is a save point. Cool. So this feels like a. This is very strange. It's like a Kirby game mixed with a Metroid style. With a Metroid type game with the way the save system works. And a uh, Sonic skin. I'm very glad I picked this up. Yeah, this actually looks pretty nice and shit. This normally crashed a game, but it has happened before. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey, that's fair. I'm not complaining, I'm just- I was just surprised, I'm like... Uh, the game just crashed. <laughs> Sonic Speed! <laughs> so we get that. I saw something over here, though. Ninja? Wait. Can I run on the walls? Ooh. This is definitely like Kirby. Do like a spire jump. Ooh, I like this. Oh, pirate robot. I want to go to Robot Pirate Island and arm wrestle cowboys on the moon. Oh, his name is Edgy? In version 1, the pause menu is a lot less stable. Oh man. I'd hate to see what that was like. Oh, we got him. Oh no, the power-up's called Edgy. Right. This game's got, this game's got a lot of personality. We got the cutest. Personality. Oh god. Aw. I feel bad for him. He kind of just fell over dead. Man, I never thought. I never thought I would be in a world where video. where, like, you know. A bunch of, like, really cool games came together to make, like, this thing. I know. Whoa. Oh, you threw kunai's. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh. Bounced it all over. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. The other thing, this just feels natural. Like, whenever I play a 2D Sonic game, it feels awkward when I'm not picking up speed, right? But because this uh, doesn't feel like, this, I know this was made by like a Sonic fan game designer, but since it doesn't feel like, you know, 
Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, like, it doesn't feel weird when I'm platforming and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel- like, it feels like the speed, it's natural, but it's like... It's not there. Sleep? Is this ice? Ooh, it is ice. It's called cool. Cool mode. The secret Kirby game we never knew we had. I hope this comes to Switch one day. I'd love to play this on the go. Probably was a few more of the bugs are ironed out, maybe. This game works well at lower speeds as well as high speeds. Yeah. It's not fully it's not fully like a Sonic game. Ooh, I ice skate when I speed up? Wait, what? Shit. I'd have to say that this kind of feels like, uh, whatchamacallit. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Sonic Mania, the bosses are so easy in that game. Oh, but okay. This, I'm kind of getting vibes like that, but I can for- I feel like I can forgive it because this is a lot of Kirby in its blood, I feel. Mm -hmm. Bored. They even- is this a reference to Sonic Riders? Maybe. Oh my god, I love this game already. I, I love it, I've been loving it, I love it even more now. Where has this game been all my life? <laughs> I'm, I'm now excited, I'm now extremely excited to play the sequel. Like, if I had a face cam on, my smile would be fucking huge, but I don't have- I don't do the face cam thing. Oh god. Ouch. We float on- ooh, we float on water. Hang ten. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, this board is really fast. Sheesh. If you like this, the sequel is just more of a fun 3D. You know what? You know what? Username, I am excited. User, user, I'm, I'm very excited for the sequel now. This is- this- this is how you hype someone up for, like, a sequel to a game. The first one is just outstanding. If this game is outstanding, the sequel's gotta be great. Uh-oh. 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 How do I- oh. Oh, those big things are health pickups. Okay. I never noticed. It was like, I'm just getting in the flow. That's another thing. You have a health bar in this, not unlike, you know... Right. A lot of- though, a lot of, I feel games that are based off of Sonic through the health bar thing rather than the rings. Because mm. I can say, like, in certain aspects that they altered the ring. I have a feeling this is going to be magic. I called it. Kamehameha! Or, or, or better. Hadouken! <laughs> Is this game, by the way, like I don't think it, I would. I honestly wouldn't think it'd be like extremely long, but 
Oh, but this game is sure some powers are better than others, but yeah, it's like it, it is. It's like Kirby in that manner where, like, there's broken abilities, but even so, it's just fun to use them all. Like an example being uh, the recent Kirby game, Star Allies. People are complaining, oh, it's too easy. Like a lot of the a lot of the copy abilities are broken, but I'm like. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. It's just fun to play as Kirby and just, like, you know, take everything out and shit. Like, this is how you get someone excited to really play a game. Oh, shit, it's back. It's got a wheel this time. Damn! It's about two to four hours, but there's more stuff after you beat the main story. I had a feeling when I saw those, like, uh... Question marks. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing they're like maybe challenge modes or something like that, but. Oh, oh. Oh, this thing's like Terminator! So we're not just going Kirby, Sonic, and Metroid here, we got some Terminator in this blood too. Hey, hey, maybe maybe I'll go back to Terminator. Uh, what we call it someday? Can't remember the name of that game. Ouch. Was it? I, I want to say Terminator Retribution. Some it was resistance. It was right. resistance. Right, right. Oh, here they come. This thing is very fucking tanky. Oh, I see. I take it we're going to the pirate ship next. Oh, you can switch powers? Really? Oh. Smog sewer. Mm. So I, th I take it you get like two powers at once. Looks like it. Sword. Oh yeah, no, there's definitely there's a sword ability. This is Kirby, and this music is funky fresh too. This is how you get, this is how you, I've, I said this during the Star Controls, like, earlier tonight, but this is how you get me excited for a game. You make the music really good. Mm -hmm. And this game has gotten that down to a T. It's like New Super Mario Bros. DS. Oh yeah, right, where you can hold, like, a power. Ooh. I wonder if there's a, is there like a mega spark ability just like in New Super Mario Brothers? I'm, ma I'm making a joke of course, but if there is, oh my god, this game's got everything. Magic. Ability. Oh, right, this is the floating one. Turn back to sword. Uh -huh. This is how you make the high jump ability from Kirby not suck. And even basically improve. You wish there was. Aww. Uh... I'm a tad bit disappointed that there isn't, but you know what? This game is still awesome anyway.
the fact that we do this alone. I definitely feel like the design philosophy behind this is this, this is gonna be like someone's first platformer game. Which is kind of weird considering that like, you know, we soak it about like an electrical engineering degree. Oh. Let me switch to your other abilities. Oh, tactical switching. One game, one game I definitely want to stream. I, I think I said this last day too, is Axiom Verge. That game is awesome. It's more of a Metroid title than, it's more of a Metroid-like than, uh, you know, any other thing, but it's just a nice little unique traits to it. Oh, okay then. So about that it keeps the game feeling fresh even if pick up it was. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true, actually. Because, like, you get, like, the wind ability, and, and it, it also breeds for how many combinations you can come up with, too. With the powers. Oh no, I'm getting... I'm getting vibes similar to uh, whatchamacallit right now. Mega Man 11. Nice, actually. Ow. Uh oh, I need help. This might be the first port where I die. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, shit. You just drop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was dark. <laughs> See. Oh, you're right. Oh, cool. So if you really want to go back to basic spark, you can. Oh, that's neat. So I think I like, I think I basically just gimp myself a little bit here, but you know what? I can live with my mistake. Consider that we can do this. Like trial and error at this point. Yeah. Well, I guess it's like it gets people to experiment with like the controls and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. Like, what can like what can you get away with in this? You know what I mean? Like, it's like how much is this game like Kirby, or how much is this like uh, this other game that like has some like DNA from? And victory is ours. I like how you could attack your own icicle mid-flight. I believe that is Lance. I'll take that. Night Spark. I kind of want a lot more, like, uh... Like, it's indie, it's indie games like this that really make me feel that, like, indie games can save the gaming industry if bad shit happens, you know what I mean? Because, like, there's a lot of talented people. But a lot of the, a lot of the spotlight, it always goes on to, like, you know, controversial figures a lot of the time, I feel. Like, current situation being, like, Yandere. I didn't even know this game existed until recently. I kind of hate that. I kind of hate, like, this sort of, like, you know, this 
like era of bad press we're kind of in near the end which I would okay that's gonna be is it like is it gonna be like a difficulty spike or something like that or is it gonna be like uh, very evenly paced in terms of challenge I'm just kind of waiting for chat to... But, um, yeah. It's like, I do kind of feel sad that a lot of shit is more focused on bad press than, like, you know, good press on stuff like this. I still can't believe this game came out, like, relatively recently. And I've not heard about it. Okay. That shouldn't be too much of a challenge, though, considering that everything's kind of going down, like, instantly. <laughs> I'm just vibing with this music, though. Beautiful soundtrack. There we go. That dealt with that. Yeah, that's oh, true. That's you don't have to fight. You don't have to fight every battle you get involved in. I forgot if there was like a portion like that in um, where you have to like defeat every enemy on a screen in uh, Freedom Planet. Because I know I know Freedom Planet does a lot of different things for its level designs, like. There's a level where you're being chased by, like, the police. And they have, like, a mm -hmm. boat that shoots icicle stuff at you. And if you get caught, it's extremely difficult to get away. Small city. Ooh. Oh, I love the design of this level. Just look at just look at the fog in the background with the fucking buildings. I'm just really in shit. And you see all the flying This is like some shit out of Blade Runner. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh man, this game is awesome. Oh wow, it freaking damn. You do you do lose track of time when you're having fun. Mm -hmm. 1233, holy crap. We gotta bring this to an end soon. Roll like Sonic. Oh thank you for telling me that. Sunset Star Metro Madness Park. Okay, so this is one of those like maze type levels. Imagine if this level like broke, branched off into multiple different paths. Like you take the like. Cool. Cause I see the signs everywhere, it's like, oh, if you go this way, you'll go to, like, this level. You go this way, you go to that level. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you're right! 
Metro Madness was a stage. Sonic BTS. Is that the arcade one? Wait, Zig. Uh, Metro Mad, he's talking about this, uh, it's called Sonic Before and After the Sequel. Oh! Right, that was yeah, the fan Sonic game he made, sequel. right? Uh, maybe. Also, I have to say this, though. I like the coloring for the magic one. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like Trixie. Very, oh, no, 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 no. oh, oh, I see. Yeah. I heard about it from an ant dude video. Hmm. Is this where I found out? That's where I found out about Spark, of all places, but I'm still glad I found out about this game. Oh shit. Oh no 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 Oh my god. I'm still gonna say this though. The magic hat makes Spark look like uh, the great and powerful Trixie. Oh god! No, 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 no! We did it! downtown one day, one day I'll try to play uh, what you would call it also one gear one day I'll definitely try to play uh, before the sequel and after the sequel if I can track him down of course those gremlins? <laughs> Goblins? What are they? It's like some type of robot. How dare the robot stop? Wait, what does this sign say? Go get dash. Oh. Definitely check him out at some. I'll definitely check him out at some point. If the guy's this talented to make this, those fangers are probably gonna be really cool. Try to. There we go. Ow. Got this power up. Okay. Ooh. Getting it. I do kind of get a bit of Rayman vibes, just kind of looking at him, but he's still got his arms and legs and thing. You know, you know what game actually looks legit though? Like, uh, 
You guys, any, anybody here ever see Balan, Balan Wonderland yet? Like the trailer? Uh, no, I haven't. It's made by the developers of Knights. It's gonna be from uh, Square Enix. It's really good. Like, I'm a huge Knights fan, and I'm just like, ooh, that, that game looks awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, no, who's this guy? Huh? Who's this guy? Well, he took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, you're one of those who can talk. Hmm. Well, sorry for the, inter for the intrusion. I'll see myself out. Hey, hey, hey. You aren't going anywhere. Hmm? Right, right. Aha! Man, this is a really nice wallet. Really like the design. Oh no, I'm gonna get fucking mugged, aren't I? Anyways, got a jet. Catch you later. Hey, get back here! What the heck? That guy just took my wallet! <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's literally Spark 2 with powers that give you new abilities. Oh, uh, the Balan Wonderland thing? Hmm. Can you believe that? You. You are literally naked right now. Sorry, but you weren't carrying your wallet. Oh, that's true. That guy got japed. Yeah, he does that. Earlier, he said he took my eyes away. And while I was looking at him, I asked him to give them back. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Yeah, it was. Well, I'm gonna be going now. That was kind of fun. Oh, sorry, but I can't let you pass. And I'm supposed to fight you to the death now. In support of our world domination plans. I'm really sorry. Oh, that's fine, man. Wait. To death? World domination? Uh-oh. <laughs> I like this a lot. He's gonna really knock the power out of me. Holy shit, Molly. This game's got a lot of personality. I really like it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. Oh no. I gotta show this thing to J I gotta show this game to JT. Oh yeah, no, he'll get a kick out of this. The dialogue is greatly changed. This in the cutscene the floating guy is fixed spark. What? <laughs> what? That's fucking funny. Yeah, that is pretty funny. Spent Sparks ass. <laughs> so much for being a, uh, so much for this being a kid's first platforming game. <laughs> I guess he changed it because it's like a very big contrast. <laughs> Alright, probably after this boss fight I'm gonna end the stream. But um this is this is really fun. I'm definitely gonna continue this next Wednesday. And since it's a series, that means it's gonna get its own uh playlist on YouTube. Come on, give me get my hat back. Hey man, that's my hat. Give it back. Oh yeah? You in my army? 
Only the army of the living dead. Oh, I saw this in a movie once. All right, Rune. I'm ruining. Sorry, I'm calling everybody the wrong name tonight. Oh God. All right, you sir. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't want to call you invalid. Uh. Uh, I guess user, I guess user's like the best thing, is, other than, unless you want me to call your name, uh. Oh god, uh-oh. Call me blue if you want. You should call me in Spark Speedrun Discord. Is it Discord for speedruns of this game? Hi, right, blue. Oh, shoot. Oh, I can't duck. Oh, man. Alright. I'm not gonna have a repeat of Monday, Zig. We're gonna kill this guy. Alright. Also, Blue, don't ask about Monday. We, we don't talk about Monday. We don't talk about Monday. Garfield in a human suit. I think we're all secretly Garfield. <laughs> well, then again, I'm off on Monday, so... Mm. It's just that boss fight. That fucking boss fight. I am never, ever... I have to... I'm, I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna redo that fight, like, tomorrow or something, if I get a chance. I was gonna do it today, I just never got the chance to. This guy's actually kicking my ass, holy crap. Mm. Okay, one really- one thing I like about this is that you don't take damage from touching the enemy. Yeah. Alright, I think we get the hang of this now. the real Garfield hours now. Is it gonna go boom? Is he gonna go boom? Oh, he's not gonna go boom. Oh. I feel the relief. <laughs> All right. Bad. Uh oh. Oh, look, 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 when you push up on the controller, his eyes look up. Hmm. Sunset Heights. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I'm right, just gonna do it. I get, does it, I guess it automatically saves with like the levels, right? Wow. That was really fun. It crashed on exit. <laughs> hey. Press up on the uh, chairs, or not? That's okay. Yeah, it's getting late. It's like t it's twelve fifty. It's usually around the time we end the streams. Uh -huh. Yeah, but yeah, we'll definitely continue this next Wednesday. Um, but you know, hope hopefully everybody everybody seemed to be enjoying that. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I that tonight was a really fun night. Finishing Star Control Two, starting this up, I'm excited. Oh man, when like 
I don't know. It, it, streaming, streaming's great. Streaming's great. <laughs> I just love, I just love sharing experiences with everybody. So, and I'm, and I'm, I'm also glad to like get. All right, that's weird. All right, so we'll catch everybody later. Hope you guys enjoy it, and remember, as always, be yourselves. And remember, make a like a hi, make a hi ho, mo make a make a mo make a hey, pickle barrel kumquat chimichurri changa. That's the secret word of the day. All right, guys, catch you all later. Merrick out. See you guys. Good everybody.